Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam? I'm gonna squad over here I doing a ranked 1v1. Playing out Posh today, man. Playing out Posh. I go Vamp Shroud, maybe. Or no, I definitely just go straight into cooldown. Cooldowns. The most important thing without Posh. So I think that's probably the best place to start. Just go straight into cooldown. Not to mention some good MP5 as well. Let's see if we can run back. Let's see if we can make it back in time to use our 1 and our 3 and detonate. Episode 4 of the A to Z series. Gotta be honest, this is being recorded before the AMC game. Because, uh... AMC was banned, as will always be. So it'll be a, a tough, tough little cookie to get AMC playable. That is great. Clear, holy! He's gonna turn into the guy soon. Huge numbies, dude! Absolutely gigantic numbies. Mmm, nice. That'll turn him into the guy, which makes me a bit more safe. That I'm so far away, that is. Alright. I cleared most of the wave. And he's still trying to pressure it, so... Oh, he, I guess he does have blue stone. I was never gonna detonate those. Just keep uh, keep insta clearing. I think this is the best bet we have here. His jump is down, so we do some damage here. We pressure him. I think it's the best way to get uh, best way to maybe look at a kill here. I don't know. Probably not, to be honest, but. He does have his ult up. Oh, I missed the three. That's that's tragic. That's tragic. Alright, insta clear again. We get our cooldown boots. And that puts us at 30% cooldown pretty much. With the blue buff. Without the blue buff, 20%, but. Okay. Going for red? He's not going for red. He is going first item Toxic Blade. Um, stepping up here is scary for that exact reason. But I don't think he ever kills me here. Does he? No, he doesn't. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't think he ever kills me there. I have, uh... I have Shell for a defensive relic, and he has Blink, which is an offensive relic. Which... While in and of itself is not bad to go blink. Um, if you're blinking into a tower at level 5, you better be sure to kill them. <clears throat> Alright. Pretty nice stuff. We now have 30% cooldown again. Because we picked the blue buff, we have some mana regen going on. Um, I would like this blue buff to be mine. Thank you. This is looking pretty promising. I was going to pick that up, actually, but I think I'll just use it to clear. I will go pick up this blue buff as well. What's his build? Finish boots? Yeah, I should be scared. Should be and am. He jumps. Doesn't jump, just takes the damage, it's fine. Uh, does he have ult up? More than likely. Jump down, ult down. Cool with it. Wait, the one out, so that when I pick those up, I don't get reduced healing.
Bummer. Die for your masters. Alright, missed his ult. Um, I should be maxing the three instead of the one. I don't know what I'm doing. That was a mistake. He jumps out 100% of the time. I three here. I pick that up. It won't do anything. It definitely won't kill him. Ow. Oh, I messed up my detonate. That's bad. Um, this might be controversial. But I'm gonna just alt this wave so I can back faster. So that I can go into a full breastplate. And now I have max cooldown. I have 40% cooldown without blue buff, so I no longer need blue buff. So instead I'll be picking up speed and red. Let's see, is he going for red? I would dislike it very much. He is. I got it. Bummer. I'll go back and pick up my uh, my speed buff then. You do not freaking scare me, bud. You do not. Yeah, my speed buff, I don't have the time to go pick it up. I mean, there's really no reason to pick up blue, though. Like, my mana is not going to be an issue. My cooldown is already capped. Um... I think I go... Hi. I think I go Divine next. Wants to fight me again? Alright. My max cooldown definitely gives me the upper hand here. Nice. Nice. My max cooldown really, uh, played a part. And it also gives me a tower. Going for his blue buff would be exceptionally greedy, so I'm not going to do that. I'll get his tower and I'll get this XP camp. Uh, maybe I won't get that XP camp. I cleared nothing. Unlucky. I don't like where I am right now. Pop his wing blade. Keep running. Good damage on him. I'm just gonna keep healing. He really doesn't scare me. Right, he's gonna transform here. Nice, I actually got the red buff. That's really nice. This is risky, but as long as I'm picking up my corpses, I should be okay. No detonating, no going for the kill, just going for sustain. As long as I'm just going for sustain here, I should be okay. Just gonna jump it, so I'll detonate. Going for a clear. Pick this up, he's going for blue. Not going for blue. Okay, he's just backing. Honestly, a really good fight for me. It was scary and definitely risky doing that, that kind of a play, but I figured what the hell. Might as well try, you know what I mean? Go Aegis here because he's doing a lot of damage. 
He's also very healthy, huh? 1800 already. He started bluestone. With a build like this, I would have definitely expected more of a, a death's toll build. Because of how much health he's stacking immediately. And honestly, a gem of ISO might not even be bad. So I could like throw that and it would proc it. What is it, Zansile? And Shile. That's a slow. Does he ult me? He does. He wants to fight. Because he ulted and he wants to fight, I'm going to sit under my tower and act like the bitch that I am. Sub gamer. No longer scared, he used everything he had. And I did get Rod. The reason I got Rod is because I really feel like I'm stealing the speed. Life sucks, never mind. Um. I really feel like that didn't hit. That didn't hit either. That hit him. I'm trying to stop his back, to be honest with you. He jumps this, 100%. Oh, good silence. Not that it was like him doing that. It was Ansile, but yeah. Do I go to Vine? I don't know if I go to Vine here. He's really not healing much. I kind of feel like I should go Ethereal Staff and, um... I feel like Ethereal Staff Soul Reaver is the best combo for me right now. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Either way, I'm doing it. Oh, Soul Gem would be good too. Doesn't that do a percentage of their health? Oh no, that's bonus damage based on how much magic power you have. Okay. It's going beat stick now. Die for your master. Mine. What kind of you? Well, he did do a decent amount of damage to me. He really didn't do that much, you know what I mean? Like, it hurt, sure, but like, did it hurt that much? When you think about the fact that I, I can life steal through literally all of it, no. And I think he used, I don't think he used Blink there, but I think he used Hor Horrific. Am I wrong? Maybe? No, he definitely used Horrific. He did, I remember. Uh, Soul Reaver is cheaper than I expected. I thought it was 1450, it's only 13. Go buy that. He's definitely got his beat stick coming online now. Yeah, I have my three maxed out. Next item is Ethereal. And I am capped on cooldown, like I said, but like these items really suck, to be honest with you. So I think what I'll do is probably just sell that. The starter item. Unlucky. Definitely dead here. Yeah, he blink ulted and then like ulted me again and just stood next to me for 300 damage. But uh, it's okay because I was able to clear the wave. He probably, I mean, he gets red buff, which sucks, but. And what do I transfer this out for? Oh, I could just go gem. I mean, ethereal and gem. I would be very healthy though. Would make Heartseeker better for him. Do I care about that though? I think it's Bluestone better for him too. I think Bluestone is percentage based when it's upgraded. Okay, what does this give me? Upgrade. Uh, gives you 10 magical power per 10% of your available mana. 
it's 190 power actually more mp5 on missing mana but more power on actual mana. so actually quite a lot of h or quite a lot of power Really just trying to annoy him with a lot of poke right now. And there's the alt. I'm gonna be under my tower this time. buff up he's going hard seeker not up how much is ethereal 1950 we're not that far from it it's very hard for me to kill him he's got so much hp i also have no pen how much cooldown does this give 20% so I gotta sell boots so let's say I go that item right and then I sell boots I guess I just sell boots for gem then not bad makes for a decent game Actually hit me, huh? This is not good at all. Okay, actually, not nearly as bad as it could have been. In fact, actually pretty good. In fact, pretty good. Question is, how do I finish my build off? Right? Do I, I go ethereal first and ignore this, or do I go this, sell boots, build this, and go here? I think I like just straight up this better right now. It's less power, but more survivable. I would like more power though. I'm not doing much. Most of my damage, if not almost all of my damage, is actually just from percentage health I'm taking from him with Soul Reaver. And that's a lot of damage, bro. You definitely can't ignore that. The ethereal is helping me. Um, the next conundrum. Do I just be like, fuck it, overcap on cooldown by 10% for the time being? I think I will, honestly. My Say fuck it, overcap on cooldown right now. Is it? I mean, that just shot me from like... What was I at? Like 440 to 640? Almost 200 power in one item? Well, I mean, literally, it's 190 power, I guess. Surprised he hasn't done Bull Demon yet. But I guess it, he assumes it's easy for me to steal. 
which is not wrong. He's very tanky. So actually, I think I saw... Uh, I think I get Obshard. He wants to blink. This whole game plan is just blinking on me while I ever while I overextend. Okay, this will spawn. Um What's his defense at? 160? It's not horrible. What's his HP at? 2600, holy crap. A lot. He didn't use his blink or anything there. I did use my alt. He didn't use his alt. It's gonna be rough, I think. I mean, I do decent damage, to be honest with you. Does he blink alt me here? No? Yes, he does. This is where my gem of ISO would come in handy. That's where the gem of ISO would come in handy. He did, he just blinked in. He just blinked in, double alted me. Not much to do there, right? There's his first ult, there's his one. Um, his vented 400, and then he just punched me five times for 1200 damage. So he does a lot of damage. I sell this for gem. Yeah, I lose tower. His heart seeker hurts for sure. Your middle tower has been destroyed. But it only did 160. I mean, I guess compared to my Soul Eater or Soul Reaver, it did the same thing, but. Um. Hmm. I guess that was greedy of me to go for that Phoenix. But I feel like something had to happen, because, like, nothing's happening in this game. How much is this? 13.50? After one more wave, I'll go get it then. He's warding the shit out of it. There's a sentry and everything. He's not going to do it. He's just he's prepping for it right now. There's no way he does it right now. I'm eating my words. This way is nice. I got gem on him too there.
to blink again. Can't hit him. Very scared. Alright, well I got his wing blade down. Got me here. Nice, good kill. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I knew he was gonna go try to alt me there. And I was able to fight in my ult the, the entire time. My ult did 500, my 2 did 700. Um, I think my 1, I can't tell what the number is, but it was a good fight, dude. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.